Hello, I'm Audrey Baker, a junior in Teacher Academy, and today I will be reading Harrison P. Spader, Personal Space Invader. Do you think Harrison will learn personal space? Harrison P. Spader loved life and wanted to share his love with everyone. However, Harrison's overly joyful ways were causing problems. When Harrison was little, it wasn't a big deal, but the problem grew every year. He sat a little too close, shook hands a little too long, high-fived a little too hard, and hugged a little too much. And Harrison definitely did not know the definition of a close talker. Harrison P. Spader was a personal space invader. There was that time when Harrison played center field, kind of, and the other time when he went swimming with his friends. And who could forget the bus ride to the zoo or story time at the library? His family was used to being smothered in love. They were just that type of family. But after calls from teachers, coaches, and other parents, Harrison's dad knew he had to have a talk with Harrison. Harrison, I hear you're having trouble staying in your own space, his dad said. Not really, I don't need much space, Harrison replied. But other people need their space, his dad responded. When I was your age, my mom taught me something called the space saver, his dad said. It's really simple. Arms out front, then out real wide. Now place your arms back at your sides. If you can do the space saver without touching anyone, you have left a good amount of space, his dad told him. Harrison and his dad practiced the space saver over and over and over. By the end of the night, the entire family was doing it. The next day, Harrison used the space saver and at every chance he could. He loved it. Harrison even used it when he didn't need to, which he thought was extra clever. However, his teacher and friends weren't as impressed. After another phone call, Harrison's dad had a few reminders about personal space. I know you like the space saver, but sometimes it might be too crowded for it. Just put your arms down, be still, and try to stay in your own space, his dad said. Got it, dad, Harrison replied. And Harrison really did get it this time. On the bus ride to school the next day, Harrison wanted to squish in a seat with two of his friends, but Harrison found himself at a seat with some space instead. And that was just the beginning. At his next baseball game, Harrison really did play center field. And when he went swimming with his friends, he brought his own too. And during story time, he actually sat on his own mat and didn't move closer to anyone. This took extra restraint for Harrison, but he did it. Harrison didn't get it right all of the time. After all, nobody's perfect. And leaving personal space can be tricky, especially when you love life as much as Harrison does. But Harrison got it right most of the time, and that was a relief to everyone. 